this one is going to take me to uh, a different place in, in, in time. I want to talk about politics today. Um, not that I really like talking about politics. Most of you know I'm a musician. I like making music. I like to create stuff. But um, I saw this week, I saw uh, the opposition leader on the street, sat on the street. An elder statesman sat on a street protesting because the IBC needs to go home. It's, it's his democratic right to st sit on that street. Yes, no problem. But the question in my mind was, um, this is an elder statesman, over 60. He should have nurtured by now the new generation of revolutionaries, the the people who think outside the box, the people who challenge the systems of corruption, greed, theft, and all of that. By now, he should have nurtured those people, and he should be sitting somewhere telling them, look, have you looked at it from this angle? Have you looked at it from this other angle? And help them go and make those protests. You don't want to see a grandfather-type person who you look up to sitting on a street corner protesting for your rights it just i don't know what's going on with africa but that that was a strange one and then it got me thinking even more most of the nyanza provinces um odm ci odm some of our leaders were there but the question is how much microfinance have they given to the young people of CIA? How many job opportunities? Forget the NYS stuff of picking up a shovel. Serious job opportunities. They're medical practitioners with no jobs. They're media practitioners with no jobs. They're bankers with no jobs. They're scientists with no jobs in Nyanza. What are you doing about that? You as a leader who's protesting on that day. What are you doing? Because you need to empower your people. In fact, scratch that. Let, let me start again. A leader is supposed to lead you to a place of prosperity. What place of prosperity is there in Nyanza? One of the most fertile places in Kenya. What prosperity is there? What prosperity are these leaders bringing? I'm bringing up this in this forum because nobody wants to talk about this issue. Nobody actually really wants to talk about this issue. And I know I'm going to be castigated because I'm one of the tribesmen, quote-unquote, who is bold enough to speak about this. But I'm not going to vote for you if all you're going to do is use me to go and sit on a street corner to protest. No, sir. Sorry. But we have to really start looking at empowering the young people of the Republic of Kenya and giving them real job opportunities not they're just not bodies and numbers no in 2017 we are not gonna fight for you because I am NOT a body I am NOT a number I'm not gonna be in the mortuary as somebody flies out because shit got wild so um, why don't you guys call each other you know sort out the IBC issue on text message or you know some buzz each other, some bonga points, and sort that issue out. But uh, moving on swiftly, really, the opposition strongholds, you need to start empowering your people, seriously. And show us, with fact, what you're doing to empower these people. Have a good day.